Hello, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be comparing two different types of Doc Martens. We're going to be comparing the iconic, the popular 1460s to the Chelsea boots, the 2976. These two, I feel like they're very similar, but they both have their pros and their cons. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So if you have any of these two, please leave your experiences down in the comment to help someone else. The two that I have are the 1460s and made in England and also my Chelsea boots are the crazy horse leather. So I'm going to go off those two experience. And also, I don't know everything. So this is just my experience, but let's get into it. When it comes to the appearance, it's very simple. The 1460s are the most popular Doc Martens. They're the AI lit boots that it has the iconic stitching, the Doc Martens stitching all around it. And also a lot of people may forget the Doc Martens airwear soles they're very clutch and it looks very nice it comes in so many different varieties but when it comes to the chelsea boots the 2976 it's very classic just like any other chelsea boots no shoelace and then you have the both elastic or the rubber things on the side to help you put your feet into the boots and then of course you have your iconic dr martin's airwear soles they're very comfortable to me when it comes to styling them i feel like the 1460s they fit mainly everyone you know you can wear it up you can wear it down and anywhere in between but when it comes to the chelsea boots they're more like elegant you know you dress up or it's more casual which you can do with the 1460s but chelsea boots they have like a prominent style if you understand what i mean these two are very comfortable after you break into them my best advice for anyone breaking into Doc Martens is to do it gradually. Don't go out there and go for six hours with your Doc Martens. Gradually break into them. But when it comes to the 1460s, my biggest pain points were my heel, the back of my heel, and also around my toes or where my toe bends. Within about a week or two, they were gone. When it came to the Chelsea boots, for me, I had problem on the back of my heel and also around the bridge of my toes or my feet, like the top of my feet. For some reason, I don't know, it could be the elastic that was squeezing my feet, but I just had a hard time with the 2976 because of that. I couldn't wear it too long, maybe 30 minutes, an hour, I had to take it off. And then also putting them on can be a pain. The elastic is very strong, which is good, but putting them on can be a hassle. I remember the first time putting on the Chelsea boots, it was a struggle. But eventually it loosens up and slowly it gets better. When it comes to sizing, these two very similar. I got the same size in both. So for example, I wear a size nine, a US nine on both. So I didn't have to do anything crazy. These two are sized very similar. And if you want like a mini sizing guide, I have a video right here or here. Check it out. So my final thoughts. These two, you can't go wrong with neither of them. The 1460s, very well known, very versatile. I would say that's the biggest pro about it. It is very versatile and Dr. Martin has a big fleet of 1460s. You can, there's one for everyone. But my biggest complaint or it's like a nagging thing is after you break into them, I just don't like that heel part. I wish it was more sturdy, but I think if it was more sturdy, probably the breaking in process would have been harder or longer. So I just don't like the way it looks on my feet after I break into them. Like the heel part just look scrunchy and things like that. And then when it comes to the Chelsea boots, very good. I love my Chelsea boots, like the horse, the crazy horse leather, very clutch. It looks nice. It's clean. And then also I'll have to say, apart from me putting them on, sometimes it can be a pain, but every time I put them on, I feel good. I feel nice. They're just unique. So those are my thoughts about the two, please. Leave some comments down below. If you have any questions, I'll feel free to answer it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.